So let's see what weight we've shed. So there we go. Pretty much one stone. So today we're going to be taking the unnecessary weight, the unused airbags out of these seats. So welcome back and let's get started. Okay, so I recommend putting your seat down on something soft, something that's not going to scratch it or damage it. So now use this side pump, which you can higher and lower the seat. Higher it all the way up to expose these. That will then show you where the clips and that are to help you out. For this, I've got a little bit set and I've just got a couple of different trim tools. We're going to remove this Torx bit here. We're going to remove this Torx bit. So once you remove that Torx bit, that one clips in, so that one will come off then. This side here, you have to, excuse one-handed, but you have to get under this lip here. So you get under there like that, and you pop that off, exposing this. Now, this actual kind of handle, this is actually clipped on as well. So get a trim tool or something that's not going to scratch it. Try and get behind it and then do it like that. Obviously not as, as ferocious as that. But that was one-handed. All the clips are all intact. It just sounds a little bit more ferocious than it is. So now we've got to take this hand pump handle off. How you do that is you pop this cap out and then remove this screw here at the front. So the good thing about having this pumped up is Things like these clips, you don't need to try and get a pick tool in the front and flick it out. You can get behind it and literally just push it out so you don't you minimize the facial damage. Now inside here is a 6mm Allen key. So undo that and then this, this handle will pull out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna you may not have to do this, but I'm gonna remove the backing off this seat. So what I'm gonna do is you need a T50. Two bolts, I think there's two bolts either side. I'm going to undo that, take the back off. But first, you need to, where you've got this hanging, from where you've removed it, you just need to put, push that out there so that this will go with the backrest because it looks like it's attached. So I'll do that now. Right, so when you've done that, guys, you'll end, this is the, the result that you'll end up with. This is the wire that runs to the seatbelt tensioner, but you can just cut. So when you remove the seatbelt pre-tensioner, Obviously, you've already done that by this point. I've probably forgot to show you that, but just unbolt that and cut the wire because you're not going to use this for the airbag. So you might as well cut the wire and then that just feeds up this little gap here. So just pull that through and then you'll end up with this. Don't get worried. It's more intimidating. It looks more intimidating than it actually is. Stay positive. Have a positive frame of mind towards this work. You've got this video to help you. If you're a little bit concerned, take pictures as you go in and put bolts and things in order and in line so that you know where they go and you've got things to reference basically don't get worried keep going stay positive and uh, and you can do this because if i can do it guys so can you another good thing about this guys is you can completely thoroughly clean all this now get in the back where you couldn't get before clean all the metal work make sure it's Nice, fresh and clean. I'm gonna pull the bottom off. I'm gonna pull all this off. This will roll into it. And then we're probably gonna have to go all the way around and uh, try and work out what's got clips holding it in. I mean, I've never done one of these before, so I don't know what the score is. So what we'll do is we'll just start and uh, see how we get on. Normally trim kind of rolls in, yeah. So we'll take the covers off. So I'm guessing, if you know about these seats, you'll be like, oh my God, he's doing it so wrong. But I'm guessing we'll keep the plastic intact. We'll take all the covers off. We'll take all the foam off. And then from there, we can then access the airbag itself. Famous last words. I'm going to learn. I'm going to see how we get on and see if I've made a mistake or not. I probably should have watched some videos. In fact, there isn't any videos on this kind of thing, I don't think. I mean, I haven't really looked for them, but I've never come across something like this. I like to just jump in and uh, learn as I go. Sometimes you need to strip things, guys, to, uh, to actually learn how they work. You 
you can access where that wire comes in, cut those carver ties off, cut the wire there, pull that out. Under here, you'll see there's two torques bits there. I'm presuming that this side's now a, a cap. Take that cap off, undo the torx bits, remove these plastic inserts, and then I can get all of this off here, yeah, all the way around, like this. Yep, so that side is a cap, and you've got tor two torx bits, which is T15. Okay then guys, so leave the backs on, pop the fronts off, obviously you remove those two screws, you'll see this side, there's two clips, two retaining clips, which go there, look, see. So basically, you want to get your little screwdriver under here, or a little plastic trim tool, and push that that way. Because you want to be careful here, you don't want to damage or break these, because there's nothing worse than having all this back together and these being floppy and that. You want them to be tight, you want them to be factory fitting as if it's never been messed with. That's the overall goal here. So, same on this one. Two clips on the inside. Okay, so then you'll have something like this. The reason why that's just folded over and not taken off completely is because I've undone the material from all this clip all the way around. But for some reason, where the handle is at the back, along here it seems very, very tight and it doesn't want to come out. So it feels like you've got a screwdriver it out. So to save doing that, all I've done is I've left that in and I've just peeled the seat back. It's not going to rip the lever, it's not going to damage anything. There's no stress or pressure on it. Just make sure that this part here is higher than this. So it's not going down as well like that. So it is literally just going over and like that, not down. So that's something to note. And then we can take these little allen keys out and then we'll see what happens then i'm hoping that this falls off but so it looks like there's 11 in total and now we can remove the airbag remove the unnecessary weight and enjoy our seats a little bit more okay so after you've undone those 11 little allen keys this is all loose but the back so this ridge here running down the in the outside from what you'd see from the back that seems to be kind of bonded stroke glued on. It is peeling off, but I don't really want to have to bond it back on. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and avoid taking it off completely, pull it forward and undo, try and take it out here without actually removing this off. So it looks like there's a 10 mil not there and a 10 mil not there. So I'll take those off and then see if I can pull it out. Just be careful to not kind of bend this about too much, just try and be a bit delicate with it. So now, airbags fell out, so there we go guys. This is your Recaro passenger seat side airbag. I don't know what that is, but I'll work out what it is first in case it's anything important. I don't think it is there. So guys, these if you get any of these drop out, we've basically found where they go now. Inside these top rows here, which are these, I think is a five or six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six across the top. They are what give you the thread inside the plastic trim itself for the screw to screw into. So they push up into this trim here. So when they drop out, just look for the ones that are missing and push them back in. And then when you've done that, basically it's the reverse to what we've just done. So completely reverse the procedure that we've just done and build it back up. Okay guys, so just a point to note. When you're putting all this back together, make sure with trim, you want to give it a bit of a slap, a bit of a, a bit of beating to get it puffed back out, to get it pulled tight give it a good whack in but here there's a, a part of the rubber not the rubber sorry part of this so this here make sure that this foam this is lipped so this goes over the outside of the bolster so make sure that those lips are over before you roll the plastic clips behind the level 180 back into the channels so make sure that's all and just go around and make sure it's all in it looks right it's good to go.
Okay, so when you've done it, take your time guys, there's no rush. When you've done it, you want it to basically be like this. You want it to be like factory. People to look at it, they wouldn't even notice that it's been taken apart. Start at the top, so put the top lever clips back in and then work your way down either side, coming around the contours and the bends either side and then work your way to the bottom. Do the bottom last. Make sure when you do it, you you proper push and you know make sure it's in proper pushing them because sometimes you can push it in feel that it's in it's got some resistance but actually you can probably go another 50 percent so make sure it's in if you've got to wrap your fingers around it and, and do it like that now when you put these back in before you put the screws back in make sure these two clips here are fully in so you should hear a click 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 either side make sure you get two clicks or they're definitely in clipped in properly and then put your screws in and then turn it over make sure it's all square it's all flat it's all you know there's no foam trapped make sure you do a good job with the foam take your time so the hardest part guys is this bit here this is the bit that's common it commonly comes out the uh, plastic rail if you like that hooks into the plastic seat back in this is the bit that commonly comes out now the way to do this, I went round it all and then I ended up doing this bit last from here. Like I said, make sure I proper pull it and pull it back and really, you know, be quite ferocious with it. Make sure it's in. But if you're struggling to get this bit in here, the way you do it, if you imagine my hand there, let's get out the light. If you imagine my hand there representing the plastic on the back of the lever that has to do 180 degrees to hook under the seat because this plastic trim is here you can't wrap your fingers around it like the rest of the seat you'll see when you're doing it but if you're struggling push it against the back like so push it into here as if you're just going to put it up and then come back about 10 mil and roll it so roll kind of so push it back and so imagine this was it push it down it and then roll over and then because you roll because you're rolling over you're allowing the plastic to roll 180 degrees on itself and then you can pull it up so rather than try and do that kind of motion in one you need to kind of push it down push it round and then hook it in it's difficult to explain, but I think when you're doing it, you'll you'll see. And then, when you put it back together, excuse the light, but put the side trims back on, just as you did when you remove them. It should look like that. Now, rotate the back all the way back and all the way up, and then pump the bottom all the way down and all the way up, just to make sure you've got full function again, like you did before you stripped it. That's the end result guys. See it's a little bit lighter. Let's have a look at that now. Okay, so we're gonna do a bit of a before and after weight test. We'll give it a go. So this has maxed out that and it's actually over 50 pounds. So let's see now if the one where I've removed all the weight is actually under 50 pounds or whether we're still over. Now we've got the seat which I've removed, the airbag and a few bits of brackets and stuff. So I've took the weight out. Be careful with the garage. Yeah, so there you go. £44, give and take. We've probably lost £7 in total. So if you go 15 pounds for the two seats, I mean, that's not bad to be fair. So that's the end of this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helped you do your own. I hope it's had value. Hit that like button and hopefully I'll see you next time.